coffee taste test. And I'm not drinking any caffeine right now. <laughs> so thanks for that. Oh. <laughs> sorry. You're not sorry. <laughs> well, you can hardly tell any difference, so you're not missing out. What have you tried so far? Um, I did a comparison with the, the Bustello on the Nespresso machine. Okay. And also making Bustello with the, the browns and my new mocha. Oh. My Italian mocha. Stella. Stella. That's the name. So I got mail from Ken Yarn to Gina, middle name, Skein, last name, Cocaine. are really really beautiful so if you're not familiar with what a sock blank is it is you pull from here's an example um, these are like spring flowers you pull from one side and you knit so you actually knit right from the sock blank and it is a little uh, as you're knitting it up into a sock. It does look a little bit, um, a little crunchy looking or squiggly, like you're unraveling a sweater, but um, you just wash and block them and it's totally normal. It's really, really, really fun to knit from a sock blank. And this one is just, I'm just staring at it. I can't get over how beautiful it is. Yeah, so comment below actually if you have knit from a sock blank before and what you thought of it. And let me know what you think. And if he has any more of these in his shop, I recommend that you go and get one or two. How did I get so lucky, Jake? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I wanted to show you these socks I'm doing really quickly before I move on to something else. So, this is my first sock from Full Might. You may have seen it before if you are a returning viewer. And this languished a bit, and I didn't start the other one. But then I did start the other one, and look at this. I might not have done the same stitches. Like, I might be off by a couple stitches, and that caused it to have a completely different pattern. But then when I did the heel, 
it looks like it's reverted back to the original pattern. So maybe I didn't, maybe just naturally did that. I don't know, because as you see, it's starting to come back the way that it was. So, so I don't care because I have a new pair of black bloodstone boots. Is that what they're called? And I just need thick socks, nice scrunchy, long, thick socks to wear with these boots. And I don't really care whether they're fraternal. They don't have to be identical. So that's that. So the next thing I'm gonna cast on is going to be the sock blank. Stay tuned for that. Ugh, oh, I'm so in love.